Hey, here's a manual slash a guide on how to progress through the whole game while playing as a summoner. First things first, we need to create simple yet efficient NPC houses for new NPCs to arrive. Then we venture around the world, find a living tree, and if we're lucky, obtain the finch staff. Then we head straight to the ice biome, collect some platinum or gold ore, and gather some flinks for. From these obtained materials, we can now craft a flinks for coat and the flinks staff. Then we can go to the underground jungle to collect some hard crystals, stingers, vines, and spores. This allows us to craft the snapthorn, after which we should gather various materials for different potions. After reaching at least 200 health, defeat the goblin invasion and find the goblin tinkerer. We should purchase a pair of rocket boots, reforge our weapons, and combine all the possible accessories. Now we can create a simple arena and defeat the Eye of Cthulhu. Now we head straight to the world's evil bio, Crimson or Corruption, and defeat its boss. We can now venture down to Hell, find the Hellforge, craft obsidian armor as well as a pickaxe. After gathering some Hellstone, we can now upgrade to an Imp Staff and a Molten Pickaxe. After revisiting the underground jungle, we can now create an arena and defeat the Queen Bee. After the boss fight, we should head outside the caves and create an NPC house for the Witch Doctor. After the NPC arrives, we are able to purchase an imbuing station as well as a pygmy necklace. Now we are powerful enough to locate the dungeon, create a long arena and defeat the Skeletron. Now that we're finally able to enter the dungeon, we should collect some bones and find the bewitching table. After collecting the necessary materials, we can now craft a spinal tap and should also consider crafting a fishing pole. With a fishing pole in hand, we can now go to the jungle biome and catch the variegated lardfish to then craft a summoning potion. Then we should venture down to hell once again and obtain the guide's voodoo doll. After taking our time and creating a long pathway, we can now throw the doll inside lava and try to defeat the wall of flesh. After entering hard mode, first things first, we should find a spider cave, gather fangs and craft spider armor and staffs. Now that we can protect ourselves, we can head back to the world's evil biome, smash altars, and collect the newly spawned ores. Then we can craft new bars, an anvil, pickaxes, and other tools. If we weren't lucky enough and obtained a firecracker the first time fighting Wall of Flesh, it is now time to go and try to obtain it once again. Now we should locate a floating island and collect souls of flight from killing wyverns. Now we can go and head back down, visit the newly spawned hollow biome to gather pixie dust and craft a pair of fairy wings. Use all of the accessible buffs, defeat the destroyer and craft the durandal. Now let's head back to the underground jungle and collect as many life roots as we possibly can. 
with more health, it is going to be now much easier to defeat the twins, craft hollowed armor set and the optic staff. With the newly obtained items, defeating the Skeletron Prime, crafting Avengers Emblem and the Pickaxe Axe should not be a problem. After all three mechanical bosses have been slain, we can now head to the underground jungle biome, create a large arena and defeat the Plantera. After the boss fight, we should definitely go and purchase Tiki armor as well as a Hercules beetle accessory from the Witch Doctor. Now let's head back to the dungeon, collect ectoplasm and craft a pumpkin wood medallion. Create a small arena to get through the first waves a tiny bit quicker, summon the pumpkin moon event and try to kill as many enemies as you can. We need to obtain items like spooky wood, witch's broom, the raven staff, a couple of necromantic scrolls and the dark harvest. From the obtained items we can now craft the papyrus scarab and upgrade to a spooky armor set. Now that we're strong enough, we can easily locate the jungle temple and defeat the golem. Now that the golem has been slain, we can finally focus on the lunatic cultist which spawns at the dungeon's entrance. When the lunar events have started, we should focus on the Stardust Pillar first to obtain Stardust Fragments. This allows us to craft the Dragon Staff rather quickly and helps us to destroy the other Celestial Pillars. Now all that's left is to defeat Moonlord with all the buffs we have, Stardust Dragon and the Witch's Broom. While it might be a bit difficult, try to avoid all of its attacks and only destroy all three eyes at the same time. Now that the Moonlord has been defeated, we can craft Luminite Bars, Stardust Armor and rest of the tools. <laughs> 